I'm God in charge of me. So every door that closes for you, and if you understand it, that allows for an opportunity for another door to open. Maybe I need some more rest. Maybe I've been working too hard. Maybe this is his way of saying, hey, partner, you're going to slow down. I'm going to help you slow down. I've learned to accept God's will and understand that everything that happens to me happens to me for my good and my betterment because the God I serve didn't bring me this far to leave me. Right. You tell me, why would God lift you to the height that he got you to just to see you fall? That's not the God we serve. Amen. That's not God. Don't let nobody deceive you. That ain't God. When something happens in your life, it's an opportunity, man. It's going to be a series of opportunities. When they tell you no, it's going to create another opportunity. If they tell you you're counsel, it's going to create another opportunity. If they tell you, well, we don't think so, it's because they don't know. You think I care about somebody telling me how they feel about me or a show I got? You think, you think they made me? The people that make me, man, they just give me the opportunity to go do something else. So come on, man. Get your attitude right. Keep talking to God. Pray. Ask for guidance and assistance and see if God don't show you the way. Over 200 nations have experienced personal rejection. Rejection that has left a scar on your soul. Rejection that has embittered your mind. It has robbed you of your joy. It has robbed you of your peace. It has destroyed the quality of life that you had hoped to have. It has destroyed your marriage. It has destroyed friendships. I want you to listen closely today. We're going to open the pages of God's Word. It's Philippians 3.13. Forgetting those things which are behind. Say that with me. Forgetting those things which are behind. And there is the key. Some of you don't want to forget it because that's all you've got going for you. If you didn't whine about your past, 90% of your personality would be flushed. Paul said, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling which is in Christ Jesus. But as far as the fact that I was beaten and left for dead, in spite of the fact that Christians turned their back upon me, in spite of the fact that the Roman government has put me in jail and I've been in jail more than I've been out of jail, in spite of the fact that the Corinthians mocked my teaching, in spite of the fact that I was bitten by snakes and left for dead, in spite of the fact that I've been shipwrecked and I've been left for dead in the sea, in spite of all that, of those things, in light of these light afflictions, he said, hear that? In view of these light afflictions, they're not worthy to be counted for the glory that God has prepared for those that love him. If the average Christian in San Antonio had been beaten with a whip for the testimony of Christ, dear God, we'd have cameras and newspapers and make them the martyr of the ages. Paul said, forget it. Don't even think about it. It's not worth thinking about. In view of what heaven has for us, run the race with endurance. Run it with patience. Be an overcomer. Fight back. Get up out of the dirt. Lick your wounds. Wipe the tears out of your eyes and the blood out of your mouth. And get moving. The prize is greater than the burden. Life is a way, it's a road, it's a freeway, it's not a parking lot. Life is a school, it's not a cemetery. It's an arena, it's not a bleacher seat where you sit down and watch it go by. Life is for growth, it's for movement, it's for action, it's for progress. Stop living life looking through a rear view mirror. Get up and get moving, get up and get moving forgetting those things which are behind. Rejoice evermore. Move beyond your achievements. Were you the salesman of the year last year? Forget it. Did you win the championship last year? Forget it. You can't eat those ribbons that you won last year and those things you did that were so wonderful that last year, they won't pay the light bill tomorrow. Get up and get on your bicycle and start pumping. Move beyond your achievements. The Bible says, 
Solomon speaking, as a man thinketh, so is he. Is this you? Has your resentment destroyed your peace? Have you lost your joy? Have you lost your zest for life? Has the bitterness of the past destroyed the present and the future? Some of you are looking at and saying, Pastor, how can I be happy? How can I be joyful after all that has happened to me? Let me tell you something. My answer is to continually surrender life's heartaches, continually surrender life's trials, continuously surrender life's disappointments, life's unpleasant situations into the hands of God, casting every care upon him, for he careth for you. Say that with me. Casting every care upon him, for he careth for you. He wants to carry it, and he will if you'll turn loose of it.